everyone! Welcome back to Ordinarily Beautiful. So today I'm going to be doing a Makeup 101 and it is going to be on how to contour and highlight. So I have no, um, I have my foundation on and that's pretty much it. I haven't put on powder yet so I'm going to show you guys how to contour both with liquid products as well as cream products and just regular like powdered products. Um, they all work a little bit differently and they all kind of give a different effect. So let's just hop right into it. So the first one that I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do is how to contour and highlight with products that are either liquid or cream. Now if you guys are going to be using liquid or cream products, you want to make sure that you do not put on any powder before you put them on because if you do that, your powder, your foundation is going to get really like cakey and it might separate and it just won't look good. Trust me, I know, I've tried, not a good look whatsoever. Do not recommend that. So, um, let's just get started. So, the first thing you wanna do in how to contour is what, okay, so the trick that I learned when contouring is you want to go from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth and just kinda create a line like that and that'll be where your contour goes. You also don't want to bring it past about, sorry, I'm using the viewfinder for this. Um, I like keeping it right here because for me, that's where the hollow of my cheek naturally is. What you can also do if this doesn't work for you is that you can try and find the hollow of your cheek. So it'll be right underneath your cheekbone. Sorry, it's really hard to do while I'm talking. Um, right underneath your cheekbone, the high point of your cheekbone right here you should feel an indentation and that will be where your contour goes. Also, if you just naturally have like that contour, that hollow right there, it'll be really easy for you to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking this foundation, which is Revlon's Color Stay 24 hour in the color 32 True Beige. This is for normal to dry skin. I really like this great coverage. I mix it in with my foundation. Um, and I absolutely just love it to darken my foundation when I'm tanner. So anyways, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this. What you want to do is you want to go two or three shades darker than your, oh, that's a lot more than I wanted. Um, two or three shades darker than what you normally are. That'll give you a really good contour. And when you're doing um, contours like this, the liquid and the cream products will give you a very, um, natural look. So if you're going for something more natural but you still want to contour and highlight, I would suggest to do a liquid or a cream product because that will give a very natural, beautiful highlight and contour to your face. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my damp beauty blender which needs to be washed desperately, so please ignore that, and I'm going to be taking the tip, this tip. So I have the one that's from Real Techniques and it's got the flat side as well as the pointed side. I'm going to be taking the pointed side. I'm going to be dipping that. I put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just going to dip that lightly into the product. And then I, I'm just going to be drink, bringing that, creating a line right like that. And then what I'm going to do is kind of just continuously go back and forth and press it into the skin. But you can also use, you can also use the side if you want, of the Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to be doing the other side for you guys. Just doing a line right underneath my cheekbone and the hollow of my cheek and bringing it in to about here. Yeah, to like about there. So you can also contour your nose right here, 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 and then your forehead right here, which I'll be doing later with powder because I don't like doing it with this. So that is how you contour with liquid. And then I am going to be using a cream highlighter, and I'm going to be using What's Up from Benefit. It's got the most gorgeous highlight in the entire world. And what I like doing, since this is a stick, it's a cream product. So I'm just going to drag that right along my cheekbones, the high points of my cheekbones, on both sides. And then what I'm going to be doing, you can use your finger for this or you can use a beauty blender. Um, if you do use the beauty blender, 
what you're going to want to do is just dab it with the flat part and make sure that it's all rubbed in. If you want to use your finger, which I will be using on this one, you kind of just want to rub and press. You don't want to drag. You don't want to sit and drag. That's not what you want to do. You kind of just want to rub and press into the skin so that everything stays on the skin and gets all soaked up. So that is how you use cream products and liquid products to highlight and contour. Now I'm going to go put on the rest of my face powder and I'll come back and show you guys how to contour with powder products. Alright, so now that I have my face powder on, you guys can still see that you guys can see the highlight and the contour through the powder and it does give just a very nice natural finish to the entire look. But if you don't want to do that, I do have to admit it is a little bit harder. Doing it with powdered products is a lot easier, at least for me it is. Alright, so what I like starting with is I like starting with my contour. So the bronzer that I like using is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It looks like this. Very beautiful bronzer. I absolutely love it. Um, that, I don't know if it's picking it up, but that is what it looks like. Um, that's what it looks like on the back of the hand. It's really pretty. It is a little too dark for me, um, but I just use a light hand when I'm contouring. And then the brush that I'm using is the Sigma F55 Small Duo Fiber Brush. You can also use an angle brush, would also be great to use when contouring. It just really helps you define that cheekbone and get in the hollows of the cheek. But I don't have that, I'm using this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this, just dip that in there because this is really strong. I only dip it a few times. And then what I'm going to do, oh, chocolate. Mm. Yep, I tasted that in my mouth. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going from the corner of my ear down to my mouth about halfway. You can also make the fishy face if it helps. Um, so I'm just going to lightly go back and forth like that and then start to rub it in. And then with the other side. and then just kind of rub it in. It's picking up very intense in the camera right now. I swear it is not this intense. I promise. Then if you guys want to contour the rest of your face, I just take this brush and what I will do is I will go along my forehead right here. And then on the other side Right like that, which is really hard to do without holding my hair back. So just kind of go all around the forehead is what I do. And then also if you want to contour your nose, you just take it, dip it in the product, and then just drag it really lightly down the side of your nose and then the side of that nose. And then I like doing a little bit underneath and then under my lip. And then a little bit underneath the chin, around the jawline, just to chisel that out a little bit more. And then with no extra product on the brush, I just like to go back and swirl that and swirl that and kind of blend both of those together. Then I like to work from the bottom up, so then I'll do blush, because um, I really like having that highlight on top um, of my blush. So I'm going to be using Tarte's Captivating, which I love this blush so much. It is so gorgeous. It's this perfect, like, peachy rose kind of color. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's, like, right there. But anyways, I love it. And I'm just taking this random brush, blush brush. I don't know where I got it from. But I'm just going to dip it in the product. You don't need a lot of this product, trust me. And then what I do is I kind of start on the apples of my cheek and then just kind of go in circular motions and then drag it back towards my ear. I also like smiling while I do this. Then I kind of just drag it up right above where we had the contour just so that everything blends in nice and smooth. Then I'm going to do that on the other side. You can also, what you can do is you can start from the back and then drag it forward 
which I don't do this as often just because I don't I just I don't I don't do that as often but um, yeah and then you just drag it forward and then for highlighting highlighting is really easy I use this fan brush that I got from BH cosmetics and I absolutely love it I also have a concealer brush that is thicker that I think is from Estee Lauder I have absolutely no clue where it's from my grandma got it for me a long time ago um, but I will also use that if I want a stronger highlight but for right now, I'm just going to use this fan brush, and I am using NARS Albatross. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. It's like, um, it has more of a gold sheen to it. Um, right there. It doesn't come out white on the face, I promise you. So I'm just going to brush it in there really quick, and then what I'm going to do, let me grab my mirror, is just dust it on the high points of the cheekbone. So right above the blush is where I'll put it, and then I'll just drag a little bit up behind my eyebrow. Let me do that on the other side. Just fanning that right there, and then bringing it up a little bit. I'll also fan, fan down sometimes, just to make sure that I get the high points. What you can also do then is highlight your forehead really quick. So I'll just brush that right there. And then the top of your nose. And I like doing a little extra on the tip of my nose because I really like that. And then a little bit on the cupid's bow. And then a little bit on the chin just to even everything out. So now that all of that is done, I am just going to go throw on some mascara and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. So anyways, that is how I will highlight and contour. And as you guys can see, it is very strong in the camera. I promise you guys it is not that strong. It looks a lot better in person. But anyways, I really hope that this video helped you and kind of showed you how I like to contour and highlight as well as do my blush. So like this video if you guys like these Makeup 101 videos. Also let me know what you would like to see in the comments down below for the next Makeup 101 video because I would love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear your comments, what you guys want to see, what you guys don't want to see. So, anyways, I really hope that y'all enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye!